1955, polio was one of the most terrifying public health issues plaguing the world. During the U.S. polio epidemic of 1952, over 3,000 people died, and over 21,000 were left with mild to disabling paralysis, with most of the victims of the disease being children. This all changed in 1955, when Jonas Salk created one of the first effective polio vaccines. Salk subsequently refused to patent the vaccine, asking reporters, could you patent the sun? Salk's vaccine led to countless lives saved from polio. This is his story. Jonas Salk was born to Russian Jewish immigrants Daniel and Dora Salk on October 28, 1914 in New York City. Jonas was the eldest of three sons and became the first member of his family to attend college. As a child, Jonas showed no interest in medicine or science, stating later, As a child, I was not interested in science. I was merely interested in things human, the human side of nature if you like, and I continue to be interested in that. Despite aspirations of becoming a lawyer, Jonas earned his Bachelor of Science in Chemistry in 1934. After graduating, Jonas enrolled in New York University to study medicine. But Jonas did not go to medical school to become a medical practitioner. Instead, according to him, my intention was to go to medical school and then become a medical scientist. I did not intend to practice medicine, although in medical school and in my internship, I did all of the things that were necessary to qualify me in that regard. I had opportunities along the way to drop the idea of medicine and go into science. At one point, at the end of my first year of medical school, I received an opportunity to spend a year in research and teaching in biochemistry, which I did, and at the end of that year, I was told that I could, if I wished, switch and get a PhD in biochemistry. But my preference was to stay with medicine. And I believe that this is all linked to my original ambition or desire, which was to be some help to humankind, so to speak, in a larger sense than just a one-to-one -one basis. Jonas Salk graduated with his medical degree in 1939. In 1942, Jonas found himself at the University of Michigan on a research fellowship in order to work on developing an influenza vaccine with his friend and mentor Thomas Francis. During his time with Francis, the men perfected a vaccine for influenza that would be widely used at army bases. But Salk had ambitions and was itching for his own lab. In 1947, he was appointed director of the Virus Research Lab at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. A year later, he was approached by the Director of Research for the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis, now known as the March of Dimes, regarding polio research. The foundation offered Jonas additional space, equipment, and researchers in order to bolster his research abilities. Polio was a serious problem, especially during the polio epidemic of 1952, which increased funding for polio research to an astronomical number. But despite the extra funding and research, the research was continuing to focus on dangerous live vaccines. Salk postulated that he could use the safer killed virus instead of just weakened forms of the virus to develop a vaccine. And he was right. After successfully testing his vaccine on laboratory animals, Salk was given permission to inject 43 children at the D.T. Watson Home for Crippled Children with this killed virus vaccine. Weeks later, Salk did the same to the children at the Polk State School for the Retarded and Feeble-Minded. And finally, in 1954, Salk tested the vaccine on one million children, who would become known as the polio pioneers. Just a year later, in 1955, the vaccine was declared safe. In the two years before the vaccine was widely available to the public, in the United States there were an average of 45,000 polio cases. By 1962, the number of polio cases dropped significantly to only 910. Jonas Salk was hailed as a miracle worker for saving tens of thousands of children from suffering the polio virus. Despite an opportunity to make a fortune on the newly discovered vaccine, Salk refused to ever patent his vaccine. When asked by a reporter who owned the patent on the polio vaccine, 
Sulk replied, Well, the people, I would say. There is no patent. Could you patent the sun? Sulk never earned any money from his vaccine. There is a theory that lawyers from the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis looked into the possibility of a patent, but it was determined that the vaccine was not patentable. Many believe that this theory undermined the work and values of Jonas Salk, but the important thing to remember is that the vaccine was created, and it saved many thousands of lives. After the success of his polio vaccine, the Salk Institute for Biological Studies was opened in San Diego. Salk established the institute in order to help new and upcoming scientists in their careers, citing that he had wished a place like this had existed for him to have made use of. In the mid-1980s, Salk began to research ways to develop a vaccine for AIDS. Along with Kevin Kimberlin, he co-founded the Immune Response Corporation and patented an immunologic therapy called Ramoon, but was not able to secure liability insurance for the product. The research was discontinued just over a decade after his death. Jonas Salk passed away on June 23, 1995, in California at the age of 80. To remember the achievements and life of Jonas Salk, his now famous quote is memorialized at his namesake institute. Hope lies in dreams, and imagination, and in courage of those who dare to make dreams into reality. Vaccinations are an extremely important part of public health. Vaccines prevent the spread of contagious, dangerous, and deadly diseases, and have saved millions of lives. Vaccines do not cause autism. Vaccines are not too much for an infant's immune system to handle. Vaccines do not contain toxins that will harm you. Vaccines do not cause the diseases they are meant to prevent. And even if infection rates are low, we do still need vaccines. That's why infection rates are low. Jonas Salk's work on the polio vaccine was extremely important, but there are still so many diseases out there that are being researched, including the extremely relevant COVID-19. Stay safe and follow your doctor's recommended vaccination schedule. Thank you so much to my patrons who support this series. It is much appreciated. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode, and keep your anti-vaxxer thoughts to yourself. You will never change my mind.